from the new broadcasting house. So I hope you can join her. See you later. Stav, thank you very much indeed. Do stay with us. In a moment, we will be crossing to our new home at Broadcasting House to join Sophie Rayworth for the BBC News at One. So, much excitement here about the move, some sadness too. After nearly 45 years of broadcasting from Television Centre, BBC News is saying goodbye to this historic building. Well, once the home of programmes many of us grew up with, Blue Peter, Doctor Who, Top of the Pops, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and of course, Strictly Come Dancing, to name just a few. This is the last news broadcast from the building we know here as TVC. Oh, it's quite moving. As we prepare for a brand new start at Broadcasting House from Television Centre here in London. Goodbye. <laughs> Regulating the press after the phone hacking scandal, a last-minute deal is reached by party leaders. But there's still debate over whether or not the system will be underpinned by law. We'll be asking what it will mean for Britain's newspapers, also this lunchtime. Stock markets fall over plans for a one-off tax on people's bank savings in Cyprus as part of an EU bailout. A £2 billion investment in the UK's air and space industry to secure the future of more than 100,000 jobs. I'll be live in Baghdad, 10 years after the American-led invasion that toppled Saddam Hussein. I'll be reporting on what's changed here in that decade. And Frank Thornton, known to millions as Captain Peacock in Are You Being Served, has died at the age of 92. And coming up in sport on the BBC News Channel, Wigan youngster Callum McManaman faces a ban of up to three matches for this knee-high tackle on Newcastle's Masadio Haidara. Leaders of the three main parties at Westminster say a last-minute deal has been reached on a plan to regulate the press in the wake of the phone hacking scandal.